Hello and welcome to Board Game TV. It's Tournament Thursday, and this is our final round of Conquest of Planet Earth to find out who is going to be the number one alien in the universe. Alright, so we have <coughs> the Centauri Mutant Men, their strength of one, intelligence of two. Anytime you play an event card, immediately draw an event card. Also, it costs the Centauri Mutant Men one fewer action point than normal to buy an alien menace token during their turn. Overwhelming multiplication. Use one alien menace token to double your current strength total in a fight. This may use, be used multiple times per fight round. We have, represented by the purple, the Rantillian Beetle Men. They have a strength 3 and intelligence of 4. Razor Sharp Claws. The Beetle Men are plus one strength against any hard resistance. Burrowing Tunnels. Use one alien menace token any time during your turn, including during your fight, to move any number of your aliens from a single space to any other single space where you have an alien present. Remember, that came in pretty handy. We have the Selenian Sirens. <clears throat> strength 3, Intelligence 3. Irresistible Mush. Musk. Any time a hero resistance is drawn to fight, Sirens roll a d6 on a roll of 5 or 6, add their bonuses to your side instead of the resistance. While at any water location, they're plus 1 strength. Use one alien menace token at any time to instantly steal an event card at random from another player's hand. Limit once per opponent per game round. In cooperative, I'm going to do cooperative. And the Phone Guild Mages, strength 2, tells it's 4. At the start of each of your turn, roll a d6 on the roll of 4, 5, or 6, gain one alien menace token. Uh, Necromancy, use one alien menace token to choose any soft resistance card out of the discard pile and add its strength to your alien strength total for one fight. Warp Blast, use three alien menace tokens to automatically score a crushing victory in a fight. <clears throat> okay. Now we are going to do something a little different in this game. There's not going to be any human tech track. Uh, so we're just not going to even have that in here. It's going to be first one to eight wins. No human resistance. Now they can still uh, hamper each other. But yeah, first one to eight. So here we go. <clears throat> Let's see who's going to go first. The mute men roll a five. I have five, two, four, four. So it's going to be the beetle men. Let's see what cards I have. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay, well, they only have two action points. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and move two of them here. And we'll get a location. <clears throat> And we have Rolling Hills. Nothing there. That's basically their turn. The Sirens, let's see what they have here. <clears throat> Choose any number of players. Well, they have four. Hmm. Hmm. Well, nothing really good there. So they'll move all here. And let's see what location they get. Fishing village. All right. Let's see. On a one, two, or three, we use a coastal resistance. Let's just see what we get. A four. All right, we're gonna use a regular resistance. Helicopters. And they gain plus one strength for each alien at the location. Hmm. However, they are one strength. Plus one strength because they are at a coastal location. So, <clears throat> hmm. So four and four is going to be eight. And they have three and four is 12. Let's see. Okay, well, they're going to beat them. So they beat the helicopters. All right, second resistance is going to be a coastal. We have all right, Commander Williams. 
He's a hero. Fighter planes. Uh, use extra fight die here. <coughs> hmm. So it'll be eight strength for this coastal resistance. And that'll still be thirteen. And then we want to use the alien menace token. Well, we don't have to. We see. Uh, we roll if it's a five or six. The Captain Amanda Williams comes to our side, and it does not. Okay. And we got a crushing victory. So, there we go. The Bomb Guild Mages, let's see what they have. Hmm. Play immediately. Discard all location cards on the board and shuffle. Okay. Well, that's another thing I'm going to do anything, so we'll just get rid of that card. We have these. Alright, they have four action points as well, so they'll move here. Let's see what we get. Coastline. Hmm. See what kind of resistance they get? Fighter planes. <clears throat> Ooh, they got a crushing victory, so they destroy one of them. Okay, two, four, six, and three is nine. Five and three is eight. So they beat the fighter bombers. And last but not least, the Centauri Mutant Men. Let's see what they have here. Hmm. Betrayal. We'll get rid of invasion plans. We'll move all four of these guys here and let's see what happens. Forest. Well, okay. And they have one action point. And so they'll take Alien Menace token. Alright, well that's it for the first round. Um, see what's going to happen here. Okay, they have a D6. Let's see what they roll. A 5. These guys have a 6. A D6. And a five. So the sirens will go first. They still have their three cards, but only two action points. Uh. <clears throat> okay, I tell you what they're going to do. They're going to spend an action point. And they're going to automatically gain D3 alien menace tokens. Uh, that's only one. And you know, I can risk it. Uh, I'll spend one action point to move one ship here. Let's see what we get. A town. Two resistance. Hmm. See what it is. The drifter. Alright, barrage. Alright, well. Let's just roll a d6 and let's see if these guys uh, destroy anything on a one or a two. Nope. And then the three adjacent? No. 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 They didn't destroy any. Okay, can they add the drifter to their strength? They can. Okay, so uh, the sirens will not have six strength compared to the four for the artillery. And they get a crushing victory on a five or six. And they got it. Okay. Wow, all right, that's one victory. So 
see what happens next. Sheriff's daughter. All right, geologist. Ooh, heavy tanks. Eight. Mm. Okay, let's see here. Can they take the sheriff's daughter? They can. And can they take the geologist? They cannot. So they have a strength of nine. They have a strength of five. That's not going to go well. Um, yeah. Hmm. Use one alien menace token to steal a random event card. But I don't think anybody has a good... alien card that like gives you a crushing victory or anything so that's the problem so all right let's see all right well it's not good enough that's 10 that's seven uh, so they're gonna lose oh well it's worth a shot okay so the foam guild mages uh they have five action points Oh, let's see if they got to roll for their alien menace token. They do get one. I forgot to roll last time, so let me see if uh, they get one this time. They do. Okay. And let's see here. They get an event card. Uh, play immediately. Captain Fantastic is now strength plus four. All right. And each player will gain an alien menace token at the start of the command phase. Okay. So we're going to spend one to put one there. And then we're going to move four. And we get National Monument. Okay. And let's see what we get. Doomsday Cult. Five. They're going to be a strength five. Because they get plus one because of this. All right. Um, hmm. Two, four, six, eight. We have an eight. And we got a crushing victory. So we destroy the Doomsday Cult. We gain a conquest marker. And because we did that, <clears throat> we have this. When your aliens win a, against a soft resistance, we get plus one terror point. So they have three terror points now. And I think that'll be the end of their turn. Alright, the Centauri Mutant Men. Play immediately. Alright, everybody, anytime somebody gets a space card, stuff card, everybody gets one. Hmm. Okay, so they have five action points. And we'll move them here. Let's see. Mountain range. Well, nothing there. Alright. And they'll gain another alien menace token since they have an extra action point. And last but not least, these guys here. Alright, and they get to draw. Well, they have four cards. Alright, yeah. Let's see. Hmm. Hey, okay, I think they're gonna play this one. And they're gonna choose these guys here since they're in the lead. And uh, this can cost them two action points and any alien there is destroyed on a roll of four plus. So one's destroyed, two's destroyed. Okay, one's safe. The other one's destroyed. All right, and then they will spend one, two, three, four. I forgot to put a conquest marker there, and let's see what they get. A city. Three and three. All right, <clears throat> let's see what we have. Captain Fantastic. He is strength ten, plus four is fourteen. Yeesh. Now they have 12, but they are plus one. So they're 13. Oh, they beat him in a crushing victory. Okay. Next up, 
Riot Police. Game plus three strength. Okay. They win on a result of a tie. And we got a crushing victory against them. And last but not least, let's see what we get. The scientist. Ooh. Strength of nine. And they beat them. So all right, so they got three points there. And that will be the end of that round. Hmm. Alright, so let's see what we're gonna have here. I have three. Six. <clears throat> Four, three. So these two will roll off to see which one will go first. The sirens, six. All right. So the beetle men will go first. Sorry, the sirens will go first. They rolled the higher number. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. They do gain an event card. Play immediately. Uh, three action points. Well, no, I mean, I still want that town. So what we'll do is we'll just spend three action points and move them here. Let's see what we get here. We get, all right, infantry. That's not too hard. And we got him. Okay. And the next one is Army Rangers. Okay, four and four is eight. They have three, six, nine, eleven. Okay, they win. So they beat them. They put a conquest marker there, and that's the end of their turns. So they have four terror points. These guys here have six action points, so we're going to spend three right off the bat, and they do get two more cards. Let's see what we get here. Play immediately, face off. Anytime another player defeats another alien in battle, that may steal one space stuff card. Okay. Uh, the other ones aren't that good. All right, so three. Uh, but we go four, five, six. Oh, well, let's roll for their uh, uh, Alien Menace token, which they get. Alright. And we have Fairgrounds. Wow. And they're plus D6 strength to their total. <clears throat> so they're going to be 5 plus whatever. Let's see what we get. Captain Fantastic. Yeesh. So he is... Six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, eighteen. However, these guys got this cool ability where they can spend three alien menace tokens to do a warp blast to automatically get a crushing victory. And so that is going to to take out that, and they're going to get a crushing victory. <clears throat> and that's three. Terror points. So three, two, one. That's six terror points. So these guys have definitely got the advantage going. <coughs> Let's do the Centauri Mutant Men. All right. Well, they only have they have four action points. They're going to play this here. They're going to spend two of them. And play this on these guys. So these guys basically lose this. And so they're down to about five again. Okay. Now they only have two action points. So maybe they can get lucky. Let's see. Let's move them here. Two of them. Let's see what we get. Navy base. Well, they're not going to get lucky. Wow. Wow. And let's see what they're going to get for resistance. Fishing boat. Well, that's that's lucky right there. 
Alright. Alright, so I have a three, and we have a two. Ooh, and they destroy it. Let's see what else they get. Okay, five and one is six, three and three is six, it's a tie, so we'll roll again. I can do this, actually, I can do betrayal. Move one alien to my landing site. Oh, no, 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 never mind, I can't do that. Alright, and they lost. Well, <laughs> alright. Okay, and last are these guys with three action points. Let's see what they have. I do get a card. <clears throat> okay, they wanted. To, let's see. Let's try to keep up. Let's move three here. Electric power plant. Okay, so we got to roll to see if anybody's destroyed on a one or two. No. 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 Okay, so none of them are destroyed. But they do have one resistance. The Duke. And Daring Doctor. Oof. And Local Police. Alright. They get to roll an extra fight dice. All right, so three, three, six, nine, twelve, two, and then five, five, ten, twelve, hmm, yeah, so it's a tie. So let's roll again. Okay, well, they got a crushing victory there. Okay, <clears throat> they have six. All right, so they beat these guys again. They're going to spend an alien menace token. I, I forgot to do that. and burrow that guy there so actually they would have won the first round <clears throat> so but if we roll a five or a six uh, the doctor prevents them from losing and they do so now let's go again okay it looks like they're gonna win this time so they beat these guys oh well they get a roll next extra right. yeah okay so they beat them Alright, so they get a victory here. So they are keeping up. They have five Terra points now. And that'll be the end of that round. So let's start with these guys here. They have five. A D6. Let's roll. Five. Two. And five. So the Martin mutant men here go first. All right. So they're just gonna spin. They'll get a card, and they'll just spend two action points to put these guys here. So they're not doing too well. We want to be at full strength when we attack the naval base. Oh, I have to put a fighter plane. I have to roll to see if we put a fighter plane on there. We do. On a random space on that board. So things just went from bad to worse for the uh, mutant men. Okay, so the fighter planes show up there. Alright, let's see here. Um. Yeah. All right, these guys got five terror points. Let's see here. <clears throat> Choose any space stuff card. No, no. 
Okay, well, we don't want to use that, so we're just going to move four here. And we get a port city. All right, now, if these guys get this, they win. Because they have five terror points right now. Three, two is five, plus three will be eight. So let's see what happens. First, we send out a coastal city. It is a coastal city. So we're going to get coastal resistance. We get marines. And they defeat the marines. That's one down. Second one is radio man. Navy SEALs. We have a radio location. We we do have radio locations that so are three, five is eight, but we're still twelve. So let's see. Oh, we beat them. Okay, let's roll again for coastal resistance. It's a regular resistance this time. War veteran. Sheriff. Sheriff's daughter. Okay, here we go. All right. Devil's the base strength of the resistance. What is this? this strength and a town location. Okay, so they're going to be three, five, eleven. Wow. 22. 22 strength. Against 12 because they're plus 1. Holy cow. Oh, he doubles the base strength. Okay. So it's going to be 12. I'm sorry. 12, 14, 17. 17 against a 3, 6, 9, 12, 13. 17 against 13. It's not that bad. Okay, uh, so they're going to lose one. Okay, they're going to lose again. They gotta get a crushing victory. I mean, that's basically all they gotta do. Alright, well, that's not gonna cut it. And, well, let's see here. No, it's not gonna cut it. And so, the war veteran really screwed him. <clears throat> but it gives everybody a chance to play for another round. Okay. Well, they don't quite get it on that one. Can anybody else do anything about that? Uh,. We'll see. Uh, there's no space to have cards in play. Okay, I think they have five action points. I think what they're going to do is just move three, and they're going to spend two, and we're going to put three infantry counters and we're going to put it on, on their board because they'll win put one on three five and two okay and so they really screwed those guys Okay, and they're, they're going to go Rolling Hills. Well, okay. Nothing there. Okay, well, these guys are going to go. They have five action points. They get to draw a card. Hmm. Okay, so let's see what they're going to do. Uh, we have town. So we're going to move here. That's four. Come on. 
and they got two resistance and let's see we have ooh four strength oh look at that crushing victory well you know I also forgot to roll for their token yeah they get one okay that's fine five and four is nine two four six and four is ten so they beat the teenagers at lookout point Okay, and the second resistance is going to be tanks. Okay, well, they beat the tanks. So, they put a conquest marker there. Now, they're close to winning. They're at seven. They do one more, and they've won. So, they got to start thinking about the guild mages. Okay, and that's the end of that turn. So, let's see what we're going to get. Three. A D6. Which is a four. A six. And a three. Okay, who's going to go first? They'll roll six. They rolled a two. So, the Foam Gill Mages will go first. Three action points. They don't have any cards they really want to play. So what they're going to do, let's roll for their Alien Menace token. They get one. Alright, so they're going to move three people here. And let's see what they get. Grassy Fields. Okay, well they got, everybody got lucky. They can't conquest nothing there. The Mutant Men. Uh, they spend two action points and move these two here. I forgot to move these guys. So let's move them to one, which would have been here. And that would have, uh, Conquest would have been taken off of that. Uh, they lose this, and they lose this. Yeah. Okay, so they have four action points, so all they can really do is just put their guys back on the board. There's nothing they really can use. Now they have six action points, so what they're going to do is they're going to spend one, one, two, three, four. Let's see here. Yeah. And they're going to try to fight. So let's see, they get a small town. One resistance, and it's Army Infantry. And they got a crushing victory, the Army Infantry. They got another crushing victory, the Army Infantry. Another crushing victory. It should have been a piece of cake. And this time they won. It cost them a lot, but they won. But they put a conquest marker there, so they're at five. But boy, that cost them a lot. And that's the end of that turn. Huh. So, let's see. We have two for them. Two for them. Six. And four. So it's either going to be one of these guys go first. Mages roll a five and the sirens roll a three. So the mages will go first again. They only have two action points. <clears throat> so what they'll do is they'll, um, they don't have any cards I really want to do. So what we'll do is we'll send two here. See what they get. Okay, electric power plant. <clears throat> Let's see, is anybody going to be destroyed by moving there? Yes, one is destroyed. The other one is not. Okay, let's roll for their Alien Menace token. No, they don't get one. However, it looks like they can win because they have seven now. They beat this. This is nine. They have enough to do a crushing victory. So let's see. Well, huh. Too soft. They can go ahead and spin this. Unless anybody's got anything to stop them.
Okay, they're gonna try to cancel them using their alien menace tokens. On a three or higher. Alright, so they cannot use alien menace tokens. However, they still kinda got, got it easy. They have a strength of two and two. So it's basically gonna come down this one roll. Oh, they lost. So they lose. <laughs> okay. The Martin men, the mutant men, are going to go back down here. And <clears throat> let's see what they get. Yeah, it's not too hard. So we're not going to spend any tokens. We're going to try to beat these guys. And a crushing victory. Jeez. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, four. So they beat the fishing boat. Navy SEALs. All right, so they have a strength of three. They're going to use an alien menace token, two of them, to double that total. And they want to need it, they beat them. And so they get a victory there. <clears throat> Alright, the Beetlemen. They got to start winning back some stuff. So they'll start with the city. They have four action points, so move here. Let's beat the infantry first. And they beat them. Well, actually, the infantry is going to be added to their thing, that's right. All right, so we get paratroopers. All right, we got to put a resistance thing on there. On, let's see, here we have to put a paratroopers on a random space on the board. Six, and go here. Okay, so two and three is five, and they get a crushing victory. Look at that. This time they beat the paratroopers. So that's one down. Number two, tanks. All right, four, three, six, nine. Yeah, okay, so they beat these guys. Two down. The infantry taking off. And this is not going to be hard. Three. They beat these guys. Okay, so they retaken uh, this. All right, the sirens. They only have two action points, so let's just put two more of them back on the board. All right. All right. So I redid everybody's command points. Got everything straight, and the beetle men are go first. <clears throat> They're stuck with some crappy cards, but I tell you what, they're going to put one action point, put that guy back on the board, and that's their turn. The Selene Sirens, well, they're going to spin one action point, two, three, see what they get there. And they get a coastline, just has some resistance, but nothing good there. So let's see, they get submarines. All right, well, let's see here. Uh, they have six, seven, eight, nine, four, and three. All right, so they beat the submarines. Okay. Now it's our foam gill mages. Let's roll for their action point. I mean, for their LA menace token, they have that. Okay, so it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. And they're coming back. They're going to try to get the power plant. For the victory. Now, one of them is destroyed moving there. The other one lives. The other one's destroyed. So they only have one. Alright, so let's see what their resistance is going to be. Well armed redneck. Forest Ranger. Ooh, angry mob. Now let's see if anybody's got any cards that can play against them. Because they can do their crushing victory. 
Let's see here. Nope. Hmm. They could be minus one strength, but still not going to matter. So, sabotage, nope. All right, so what they're gonna do is they're gonna pay their three tokens and use Warp Blast and get a crushing victory on all these guys. <clears throat> Put a Conquest marker there. And so they have four, seven, nine. The Foam Guild Mages are now the new supreme alien race in all the universe. <laughs> they won. Well, I hope you enjoyed this game. Um, let's do some final thoughts about this game. This game has one expansion, and that's Apocalypse, and that adds the coastal stuff, and you know, some more cards, and, and new aliens, and stuff like that. It also has a couple web supplement expansions. Uh, they add, you know, a new alien race and a few cards. Um, it's a simple, fun little game uh, from Flying Frog. It's not their usual style because of the art, but I like the art. I think the art is good. It has this old 1950s B-movie feel to it. And um, Flying Frog really doesn't support this game anymore. Um... I think they move on to bigger and better things. Component-wise, things are fine. You know, you have these little plastic things, but these these little things right here, like the Apocalypse Cube and all the other aliens and stuff like that, are pretty neat. Their cards are the typical good thing. My only gripe is the player boards. They warp. As, as you see, since I've been playing right now, this game, they've warped a little bit. Now I'll put them back in the box, put some stuff on them, and they'll kind of go back to normal. But you play, they'll warp a little bit. Um, it's relatively, you could find, I think, I think you could get this game <clears throat> and all its bonus stuff for about a hundred bucks. Okay? And um you can play it solo i think it's more fun uh when you play competitively with other people you can play solo you can play co-op you can play competitive but i think it's more fun when you play competitive against other people and if you have like you know this this game can play five to six people and if you have a lot of people you'll have a lot of downtime in between turns but you always have event cards you can play or try to play. If you have the money, I would recommend this is an oldie. No doubt. It's an oldie, but it's a good oldie. And I think this game, uh, it gets forgotten very much so in Flying Frogs Library. Uh, mainly because they don't support it anymore. But, um... If Flying Frog has a problem with science fiction games, you'll see that on my Invasion from Outer Space thing. Are you fine at horror games and Old West stuff? But, uh, yeah. Science fiction. And I have a little problems with it. But, I, you know, I recommend it. It's a fun little game. It's, it's not that hard. It, there's no adult, really too many adult themes, so you can play it with the little kids. I mean, you just move here and roll some dice and fight these people. That, that's basically it. And it's simplistic enough to play. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, next Thursday, uh, we're going to go ahead and do uh, not any type of tournament thing. We're going to go ahead and do a, uh, we're going to call it Thematic Thursday for that and we're gonna go ahead and start a playthrough of Big Trouble in Little China. I got it. I haven't painted the minis. I um, may not, but uh, before we play, I'm rather busy. 
uh, with some things. But uh, I can't wait to show you that big trouble in Little China next Thursday. So I hope you enjoyed our playthrough of Conquest of Planet Earth. Uh, highly recommend this game um, if you have the money for it. If not, there's other games to get that are better. But this is an oldie but a goodie. And I hope to see you next time. Until then.